What's going on everybody and welcome to another video from the Georgia Assassin. Today I'm going to be showing you how Luminox and other lighted knocks work so you can get a better understanding of it. Um, it's pretty interesting and very simple. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to break these components down for you real quick. I'm going to draw you an LED real fast. Excuse the primitive drawing. That's your LED. The longer leg is called the anode. It's going to have a positive input. The shorter leg is called a cathode. And it's going to represent negative. Um, I would recommend using a 3 millimeter LED. You can get them pretty much any style, uh, any shape. Um, they come in different levels of lumens. So the more lumens, the higher or the brighter the LED is going to be. That's, how, that's an LED, that's how it works. Power, ground. Alright, your battery. You're going to be using a CR435 lithium ion battery. All right, and they simply look like this. You get your tip, you've got the battery body. Um, this tip is going to be positive, and the whole body of the battery will represent negative. Next up, let's talk about your arrow shaft. Your arrow shaft has to be aluminum or carbon simply because those two things are conductive. Um, you have to have a conductive arrow shaft for this to work. Um, and I'm going to show you in a couple of different uh, drawings here how this all works together and again I'm sorry for the primitive drawings but I think you'll get the understanding. So your knock simply looks like this. I know it's primitive every knock has a shoulder on it. So there's your knock. Your arrow shaft fits here when you push your knock in your arrow shaft. For a lighted knock to work you simply take your LED, you take your longer leg and it will go around this part of the battery then if you take this negative leg and you touch it to your battery the light's going to light up. When you take it off light's going out. Touch it again, light's coming on. So how does this all work? Well that's simple. You take your knock there'll be a hole here your LED will pull in to your knot, you pull the negative leg up and out. Positive side goes to your battery, which is here. Um, your battery then has to be secured into the knock because if you do not secure the battery into the knock, it will dislodge as you hit your target or your animal, whatever you're shooting at, it will dislodge. So you're going to use some type of epoxy here. That's going to keep that that um that battery and this from dislodging. Those LED, LED legs are really small. So the next thing and the last thing you have to do to complete this circuit is you take a spring out of a pin and you'll simply wrap it around the body of this battery and have one little piece of it that, that hangs off and makes contact with your arrow shaft. So I'm going to show the arrow shaft here. Arrow shaft is going to be even with the shoulder. So this is going to represent, I don't know, primitively your arrow. But this is what the inside looks like. So essentially when you shoot your bow, you say that's your bowstring, when you shoot this gap is going to compress. When that gap compresses, this negative leg on this LED will touch your arrow shaft that is being grounded by the body of this battery 
and the spring that is keeping contact, constant contact with the inside of your carbon arrow shaft. So that will complete your circuit. That's all a lighted knock is, is a circuit that you're breaking or closing. Um, when you're done shooting, you simply you know, pull your knock back out. It creates this gap here, therefore opening your switch, cutting the LED off. That's the Luminox style of doing it. I'm going to show you one more way that it's done um, that you don't have to use this spring. So once again, here's your arrow knock. Um, Alright, so the way you do this would be, is you would have, say, an, say you've got a, an extra LED here. You're going to cut off the long anode section of it. You'll put it through here and leave it hanging. You'll drill your hole here. When you insert your LED, the negative is going to come out here. Positive is going to tie around the tip of the battery. And the battery shaft is going to be here. Right? I know this is a little primitive. There's the bottom of the knock. Right there. So you've got your LED. You've got the positive anode tied to the positive tip of your CR435 battery. You've got your negative leg of your LED pulled up and around the shoulder of the knock. And you have an additional LED leg that you cut off of a separate LED with another hole drilled on the opposing side of your knock shoulder. You're going to run it through and it's going to slide down and it's going to touch the side of your battery. So then, I'm going to draw the arrow shaft now. So that's how it fits in your arrow shaft. So what you're going to do then is you've got this leg creating your ground. That's going to take the place of the spring on this 435 battery, keeping contact with the inside of your carbon arrow shaft or aluminum. This is going to do the exact same thing. Um, take you some heat shrink or shrink t tubing, put it on here. Once you shrink this down, now you're getting your ground from the battery ground itself and not the carbon shaft. You'll still want to um, make sure this is epoxied in your, your knock so um, it will not dislodge when you shoot, but the same concept applies. Um, when you shoot, this is going to compress, causing your LED light to come on. And when you or when you don't want, no longer want it on, you simply pull the knot back, creating um, this gap back between the legs that come out from under the shoulder of your LEDs from your arrow shaft, and that is going to break the circuit, um, causing your LED to go off. Now this is the more um, complex version. This is going to be Luminox style. Uh, they've actually got them in both ways over the years. They've actually even had them a different way. They had the battery inverted and they were running positive through the battery shaft instead of a negative, which, which was not very good. So that's why um, they changed that. I'm gonna draw this on here. I know it's a jumble at this point, hard to understand. But it's a really, it's a really simple circuit. I mean, all you're doing is your, all you have to do is pre-combine your battery and your LED together. Now, if you essentially, if you wanted a 30% brighter um, lighted knock, all you would have to do is buy a knock with greater lumens. So the more lumens an LED possesses, um, the brighter it's going to be. So you want high lumens. And uh, the LEDs are pretty much base price bases off the lumens. Now you can get this in um, single color. You can get them in uh, multicolor. You can get them in flashing. And all of them are still three millimeter. They come in a variety of sizes. Um, I mean, the largest I would ever consider would be a five millimeter, but you don't want to use that. You're going to want to stick with a three if you want to make your own knocks. Uh, if you decide to make your own knocks with um, a bobber light, so bobber light,
Barber light. All right, so when you buy a barber light, a Thill barber light, it's going to be the same thing. CR435 battery or equivalent, um, except for on the positive side, it's going to have the LED pre-built in. These are usually very low, bottom of the line LEDs, very low lumens. Um, and to activate, you simply push this down and it cuts on, push it up, and cuts off. So pretty much what Nocturnal has done is they've taken this style of light. They use a, use a shorter battery than the CR435. I think it's a CR425 or something something like that. Uh, I haven't researched the batteries like that. So, but anyways, the way Illuminoc works is is you've got your knock, and they've already um, epoxied in this steel bobber light or any bobber light of that style. I guess a bunch of Chinese companies make them. So it's going to fit in here. This is your actual LED. It's already attached to the shaft of the battery. So you don't have to do any of that wiring. Um, they simply um, epoxy them in so they're not going to dislodge when you shoot them. They have a depressor that sticks here. So when you're, this is your bowstring. So whenever you shoot, it compresses here, causing this to light up. The drawback of these is there's no way to get that back up unless you have that access here put a screwdriver in there and pop this back up as shown here and which will disengage um, the light so I hope this makes sense to you um, I'll probably do a video on how to make the uh, Luminox style that way you have a, a better understanding I'll show you exactly how I do it and um, like I said, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how it all works. But it's, it's, it's truly simple. Um, if you got any questions about it or anything like that, uh, please leave it in the comments. Um, any questions about how these work? I believe the ones you're going to buy today, if you were to go to Cabela's, are going to be um, this style. This is an older style. But all it is is a switch. A simple switch. You can make your own version like this or this for around $2.50 each. Um, so they're very inexpensive to make. And they're, they're identical. Almost 99% identical to what you're going to buy on the Cabela store show. Alright. So thanks for watching the video. Um, hopefully that made sense to you. Um, my next video, we're actually going to be making uh, one of the Nox in the two versions that I showed you, not the Nocturnal style, but um, both of the Luminox styles. I'm going to be making those for you. I just wanted to give you, the video would have been too long had I not done this video first. Trying to just explain how it works, it's, it's real simple. I mean, all you're doing is taking a battery, an LED, you're using your aero shaft to close the circuit. That's pretty much it. They're really simple to make. They're very cheap to make, especially if you buy your batteries uh, in larger quantities from Alibaba or AliExpress, either one. So I hope that made sense. But as a follow up, you know, my next video will be showing you how to, um, to make your own Knox 99% Luminox style. I mean, that's the best way that I can figure that they, um, they produce them. And you're gonna be down to probably less than a dollar, which is very good considering there are $30 on the Cabela shelf for three today. So, um, if you want me to answer any more questions about it, uh, please leave it in the comments. I will try my best to answer them um, for you. Um, but like I said, there will be another video coming up. My next one uh, that I'm gonna try to put up will be how to actually build the knock. So, you know, you'll know without any questions um, exactly how they work, um, how the components work together and uh, you know, if I hadn't made this video, the next video would have been a 30 minute video. And uh, nobody really has time for the most part to sit down and watch a 30 minute video. I don't believe so. I don't, I don't know that I would. So I'm trying to help everybody out in that aspect. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got a lot more videos to come. For those of you who have subscribed already or have ever watched one of my videos, I'd like to take a second to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to grow this channel um, as, as far as I can. I'm going to keep making videos every chance I get. And um, 
I'm having a blast doing it. Uh, I didn't know it would be um, as challenging as it is. Um, it is it is challenging. You can't just get out there and you know do what you want to do. You have to take the extra time to for you know for me to take you with me. It takes a little more time, but it's worth it. Uh, I'm enjoying it. So if you've subscribed already, thank you so much. For anybody who's watched my videos, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any more of my videos. See you on the next one.